What is going on guys? Tom here from the Men in Craft, back with Brandon, and we are here with another mod review today. This one's all about like medieval times and stuff. Best times. The best times. <laughs> Almost so. the best times, I'll take that back. What's Almost. The, what's the best times? You can't say it's not and then not have like a thing that it is. Three, two, one. Your point's invalid. Oh, well, uh, I, I was gonna say. <laughs> nope, your point's invalid. I was gonna say the Abe Lincoln times. What? I like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> you like Abe Lincoln? I like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> what in the living? Dude, his hat was legit, man. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Dude, who doesn't like Abe Lincoln? I don't know. Probably no one. Did but... you see his hat? Okay. Whatever, man. Just suit up. <laughs> and let's do this. All right, well, here we are, and this mod is called the Medieval Mobs mod. And, uh, yeah, it adds these three fine-looking gentlemen, uh, you see standing before us here. Um, now, this mod, like, aims to make things, like, more medieval style, so, like, by default, these guys, well, I, you can tell they're not affected by the sunlight. They still <laughs> spawn at night, but, uh... By default, they spawn in like foresty areas. No deserts. Like you can, it's a con there's like config options that you can oh, make okay. them spawn everywhere. You can also change it so the other mobs don't spawn at all, or that they do. You can change all that, but well, like I would take out their mobs. Yeah, like you could, you can. That's the thing. Like, so these are the three guys. We got brigands here, which uh, yeah, they're holding bows. They shoot you. They basically act like skeletons. And then these two over here, you got a bandit. Look at this guy. Just look into his eyes. And uh, this guy over here, a tribesman, he's got an axe. Um, these guys both kind of behave like zombies. And uh, yeah, but that one's got a sword, that one's got an axe. And uh, they're both sharp objects. They are both sharp objects, and I can get hit by both and still live though, so. Maybe. Easily. Um, now these guys are smarter, they're faster, and they're just better than the zombies and stuff. How so. fast? They're not that fast, they're just a little bit faster. It's like the midget zombies that just like haul. And then like when you kill them, like I'm killing them now. Is that gold? It is gold. See? Oh man, that guy, that was a good one that he dropped his sword. And you kill him, wow, and then we got nothing. gypped on this guy. Alright, so as you can see, there's different things they can drop. They all have a chance to drop gold coins. They all have a chance to drop bones because they take out skeletons. And you still are going to want bones, probably. And uh, then they also have a chance to drop uh, what they're holding. So like this guy dropped his sword. So that's pretty much like how that works. So like those guys will be littering your earth in your foresty areas. Do they unless you make it otherwise. Live in tents. Nope, they're just out in the wild. They need tents, man. And then they just roam in the trees. And like a lot of times you don't even see them, and then you're getting stabbed in the back or shot, like. It's just bad news. Now this does this mod does add a couple other things. Um, it's many of the times so you're obviously gonna want a horse, right? Well, you can craft a saddle. I don't want a donkey. You can get that too. It's a craftable saddle just made with leather, string, and one iron ingot. Um, it also allows you to craft string with wool, three string, three wool, which should be in Minecraft as it is. It really is, should be. Honestly. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, that alone. Oh my god. And then this last part, the final thing, is actually really cool. Like, see, this sword, it's got some wear on it. Like, it's over half broken. And, uh, I mean, you could combine it with another one if you want to do it the Minecraft way, or you could just smelt it down. Like in the medieval times, when your sword gets dull, it doesn't just evaporate in the air. No, it gets dull and you can salvage it. Well, they it. don't, they don't really burn it down. You salvage it, man. They rehammer. And it's getting salvaged. And look at, we got our ingots back, so we can just reforge a brand new sword. Yes? They would just hammer it. It's they just heat up with hammer. On heat, but that's like the same thing. It's going to the heat, this forest, there's fire, it's getting your ingots back, you put the stick on it. Yeah, but so see, there's no hammer involved. That's this, Dude, it's just how it is. It's in the furnace, it's the same effect. It should be over a pig roaster. And then the dude just gets it, puts on <laughs> an anvil, and it starts hitting it with a hammer. Well, whether... Which would be a lot of work. Yes, it would be. Oh, but yeah. it would be worth it. Also, one more thing. These gold coins, they don't really do anything other than... Uh, I only have four of them. But if you fill up your whole thing, it turns into a gold ingot. 
Oh, okay. So that's all. like shop system yet? There's no shop or anything. Uh, they just are used to make gold ingots right now. At least, once they, if they do add a shop, I don't know. But I don't know the plans or if anything's going to be added along the way. This is just where everything sits right now. But I think it's a. Uh, has now, what would be really has cool some interesting ideas is if they somehow incorporated a bounty system. What do you mean? Like I know what you mean, but like, what do you mean? What do you like? Well, of course, it's not gonna allow players to put bounties on, because <laughs> that would just be a lot of work. But there could be like, they could like have like randomly spawned like. I don't know, kingdom somewhere, you can just freaking put bounties on people in the kingdom you hate. Well, maybe, but that is nowhere near what's in this mod right now. So I'm saying in the future. As it sits right in the future. As, as it sits, what do you give this mod? As it sits? Yes. It does have a lot of potential. The gold you can't use, but there is a salvageable furnace. You can salvage your tools, you can use the gold to make gold ingots. That is true. And then, like, if you, honestly, Looking at medieval dudes is way cooler than looking at skeletons and zombies. Well, I'm not, it's not gonna, go lo, I'm not gonna lowball it. And oh. plus, they're a little like they are tougher than the skeletons and zombies too. Hmm. How you gonna? You can't knock the medieval times, man. I'm not knocking it. The sun's going down. Seven man. and a half. Seven and a half. I feel like if you give a bounty, it'd be a ten. Okay, well, you ask, you ask for such crazy things. That's why I like crazy things. You ask for such freaking. If you could have bounties? In-depth things. That is like nothing to do with like anything that was even closely into the mod. I know, but I like <laughs> so bounties. I'm, like, I'm thinking of the- I'm thinking <laughs> of uses for the gold. Yeah. And then you could like put bounties on people's heads and that's how you could use the gold. Yeah, it would be cool if there was something you could do with the gold other than just like throwing it together to make ingots, which you can already do with nuggets, but... Yeah, like you could use the gold to get people killed in kingdoms. But, I feel you. I feel you. That's why I want the bounties. Anyways, system. if you'd like to check out this mob for yourself, as always, the link is in the description. Be sure to let everyone know you are representing the agency. And, uh, yeah. If you could leave a like on this video, we would greatly appreciate it. It would help us out immensely. And, uh, yeah. If you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the agency today. Till next time, we'll be back with something else. But, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Peace. See ya. That gives you weather for two minutes. Holy hell, we're gonna die. Alright. Uh, yeah, you, like, you were <laughs> so, dropping fast. So that was two minutes. You were dropping fast. So that's... That is pretty dangerous. Okay, here's the bread. This is the infinite nausea one. And your hunger doesn't go up either. So see, like, it's... And if you know... Yeah, you notice our hunger bar hasn't gone up eating these things either. So it's mega troll. And you're just gonna have this forever until you get some milk. So... Yep, that's...